The State Department this morning says two American citizens are among the victims of the Brussels <clears throat> terror attacks. We are working to confirm their identities. Additionally, CBS News has confirmed a brother and sister from New York were killed. They are Alexander and Sasha Pinkowski. A former ambassador and friend of the family this morning confirmed their deaths. Raids overnight in Belgium led to at least six arrests linked to Tuesday's airport and subway bombings. Another raid in France led to the arrest of a man connected to the mastermind of last year's Paris attacks. CBS News has confirmed Abdel Hamid Kasul is a person of interest and are looking for him. Investigators want to know if he is the man in the white coat shown in airport surveillance video. They are also searching for a possible second attacker seen at the subway station. Our coverage this morning begins with Alan Pizzi in Brussels. Alan, good morning. Good morning. Belgian authorities have formally linked the Brussels attacks with those carried out in Paris last November. But there's still confusion as to whether they've dismantled a terror cell or merely scattered it. One of the operations overnight was in the Sharbek neighborhood where the police had already found explosives and bomb making material used by the Brussels attackers. Meanwhile, the terrorist threat level alert has been lowered from four, the highest, to three. Although the authorities said the situation remained grave and another attack is likely and possible. Two of the suicide bombers, the Bakrawi brothers, were on U.S. law enforcement radar. Both had criminal records in Belgium. Khaled was subject to an international arrest warrant on terrorism charges, and Ibrahim had been deported from Turkey. Another suicide bomber, Najim Lashrawi, was a suspected bomb maker for the attacks in Paris last November. The alleged logistics chief for those attacks was caught before the Brussels bombings, but Salah Abdel Salam's lawyer, Sven Mary, told CBS News the police had only interrogated him once. You know, he was interviewed uh, from uh, the first time Saturday. He didn't see any police officer uh, before the attacks. So he saw police officers after the attacks. Abdul Slam insisted he had not been aware of the plans for the Brussels attacks, even though he shared hideouts with the perpetrators. As for reassuring the nervous Belgian public, the Prime Minister said in an official speech that there would be no grey areas in the investigation and hunt for more terrorists. The police and security agencies have admitted to shortcomings in coordination and intelligence sharing and promised to fix them. The open question is whether or not they can do it in time to prevent another attack. Gail? Alan Pizzi reporting from Brussels. Thank you.